Okay, video number three. We've, last video, canister loft, axle holes, and we've done this little front cutaway section on the car. This time around, we want to create, I'm, I'm going to look at creating our side pod um, and wings. Now, first thing I want, I'm going to make the side pod and the wings come out the full width of the block. So we need to create a plane again. We're going to select the right hand plane, which is essentially the center of our block. And the distance this time is going to be 32.5. So, and that's half the width of our, um, of our balsa block. So come out 32.5 and hit OK. I'm going to, let's start a sketch on that plane and we're going to spin the car around. A couple of things. Let's, let's focus on the wings first. With the wings, uh, we've got to make sure we meet the regulations. Very specific. The, I'm going to start on the back wing. I think it's the easiest one to do. And the, the main regulation we've got to watch is there is a minimum height from the track to the rear wing. I, out of memory, it's about 34 millimeters. Now, I can put a, put a construction line in here, or I can just, I'm, I'm going to just chuck this wing in and hope for the best. Um, now, I'm going to start with a rectangle. I'm going to bring this towards the back of the car, and I'm just going to put it roughly there for now. Now, the regulations say that the span of the wing must be at least 15. I'm going to go 17. There's no point in making this any smaller than it needs to be. And again, the wing thickness is uh, 3.5, so let's go 4 mil. No point in making it smaller than it needs to be. I am going to dimension this based off the bottom of the wing to tangent to that to the, the bottom of the wheel, which is essentially our track surface. I've got 42 millimeters here, uh, which is heaps. It's only got to be 30 something. I'll make it 40 just to keep a nice round figure. Um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. And from the, the back of the car to there, let's bring it forward a little bit. Let's go four millimeters. I've got clearance from, actually, I'm going to check this from the front of the wing to that to the wheel come on be nice oh, it's not going to like me Oop, how about we do this let's go dimension from let's select a vertical line to the wheel all right i've got 2.5 millimeters i need one millimeter visibility so 2.5 uh, is going to be more than sufficient for that um, you know what? That's it. We're done. Let's go to the front wing. Now, this is... Oh, I'm going to have a bit of a play with shapes here. Uh, I want to go... I'm going to go center point circle. I'm going to draw... Um, now, I want this matching the bottom of the car. And you'll notice it's not actually letting me highlight the bottom of the car. This is where I've got to come back and I need to use this use project and I'm going to select the entire bottom edge. Let's try again. Center point circle from there. And now it's letting me select the bottom of the car to lock this in. I don't want this six millimeters. Again, let's go four. And you'll notice that circle, no matter what the dimension, will stay attached to this line at the front. Uh, I'm going to do the same again. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to just draw a line up this time. So now I've got to keep three millimeters. Very, very important. So I'm going to do a construction line. Uh, I'm just going to come vertically straight down. I don't care how long it is, as so long as it's just long. Hit escape. But I'm going to dimension this from that line to that wheel. Now I've got 3.04 millimeters. I think that's way too tight. I'm going to go four. I want to make sure that my wing is kept well off that wheel. 
So again, this is a construction line. It's not going to be used in any extrusions. It's just there for the purpose of helping me get things aligned. Now I'm going to put a line in. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to put another circle. I'm going to go, let's come up a little bit, go there. I'm going to make sure it's uh, about roughly touching that. And I'm going to go, I'm going to give it a little bit of shape. Let's go five. Now, I'll check whether I've got enough space in a minute. I'm going to put a line from a circle to a circle. And I want to make sure it's tangent. Hit escape. Another line. Circle to circle. Uh, and now this isn't quite right. Hit escape. So we're going to go to our tangent constraint. Line to circle. Line to circle. And that's all tangent. Um, I need to check whether I've got my span of the wing. So that's the, sorry, the cord from the front to the back. So I'm just going to dimension from the front edge of that circle to there. Um, this is saying 15. Wait a second, let's try again. Go from there to there. Okay, I've got 17 millimeters. Uh, I only need 15 millimeters cord. This is saying 17, so I'm more than happy with that. And I'm just going to leave that there. That'll do. Um, now look, there's so many other ways you can do wings. It's um, This will do for now. So, I've got my front wing there. I want to extrude that. Going to use a different feature this time. Um, we're going to select all of that. Sorry, new, not add. No, add, add. Uh, select all of that. Try that again. Here we go. Awesome. Uh, I want to go up to next and change my direction to the car body. What this is going to do, it's just going to keep that extrusion going all the way through until it hits something. In this case, the something's the car. Uh, and hit OK. So I've got this really nice ring there. Now that wing is just stupid. Um, whoop, not extrude. I want to come back to my sketch. And I'm going to edit this a little bit. I'm going to put a fillet on there just to smooth this out. Doesn't need to be big. That's four millimeters. Um, fillet. And I'm going to change this. Let's make it 1.5. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, let's do that again. In there, 1.5, change that, oh I love these little prompts, it's telling me what to click, and 1.5, yeah it's just smoothed it out a little bit, oh, I, I could tweak that a bit more later, no I'm going to tweak it a bit more now, let's change this, to two. Let's make it nice and smooth. Uh oh. Enter. So just hit escape there for a second. There we go. Uh, and you'll notice it's because they're all the same, it's changed them a whole lot. They look so much nicer now. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so how have my wings? I now need to work on my side pod. Um, side pod's going to get a little bit complicated so we might leave the wings there for now we'll come back in the next video and worry about the side pod uh, we're going to use the loft feature again um, for the next video see you soon